So, the longest day of the year is just around the corner, and to celebrate the summer solstice, myself and two of my oldest golfing buddies, Andy and Jay, are not going down to Stonehenge, but instead we are going to play loads and loads and loads of golf, because we are going to be taking part in the longest day golf challenge. The aim is to play 72 holes of golf in one day. That's four rounds of golf in one day. That's a lot of walking, it's a lot of hitting, and I imagine it's quite a lot of bodily chafing. So, I've been in training. Bike, cross trainer, bit of the old upper body, and of course, walking. There'll be about 28 miles worth of walking on the day, depending on how much I spray it about. Now I'm a very average golfer and I tend to shoot around 90. So four times 90 is 360. Of those 360 strokes, I would say 200 of them are gonna be full shots. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's one. Ball 100. Time for another bucket. It's getting quite sweaty now. About 150. That's a good one. was that got me eyeing now maybe 150 is kind of optimum that's when you're really playing well ball 200 well I nearly fell over but otherwise I feel okay on top of the 200 there'll be a further 40 or so I've worked out half shots or chipping shots <laughs> balls to go now. I'm sweating a lot. So that's the big shots and that's the little shots and apart from the fact that I am sweating like a convicted man um, I feel okay. So now for the 120 putts. I am so ready. My two playing partners on Wednesday will be Andy and Jay, and we work together in the noughties on the London Golf Show. There's Andy and myself and Jay on stage with Tim Henman and Ron Atkinson during our ill-fated golf-based game show, Shankity Shank. How that ever got a TV commission is really obvious. Our boss at that show for many years was Colin Brunton, and he was a genuine larger than life character. Last year, sadly, Colin lost his fight against cancer. And so we are dedicating our longest day golf challenge to Colin, who we miss greatly. Below is Andy's Just Giving page. Please go there so you can read about Colin's story, find out more about Macmillan, and also please do give generously.